Good afternoon, everyone, to our presiding prelate, Bishop C. James King, Jr., to our presiding elder, Reverend Dr. Earl J. Griffin, and our first lady, Marilyn Griffin, to the presiding elder of the Monroe District, of, of the Shreveport and Minden District and their first ladies, we would like to welcome you to all of the ministers and the lay who are here tonight. As I ponder as to what's going on in the world today, I thought about my grandfather's favorite hymn, Hold to God's Unchanging Hand. And when we think about time is filled with swift transgression, naught of earth unmoved can change, can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's mm -hmm. unchanging hand. Trust in him, not who's in Washington, not who's around us, but trust in him who will not leave you. Whatsoever years may bring, if by earthly friends forsaken, still more closely to him clean. Cover not his worldly vain riches that so rapidly decay. Seek to gain the heavenly treasures. They will never pass away. And the last verse, when your journey is completed, if to God we have been true, fair and brightly, home in glory, your enraptured soul will view. And if we will do that and hold to God's unchanging hand, we will see God. And that is what our journey is all about. So in these 21 days of fasting and praying, we will have to continue to hold to God's unchanging hand as we continue. Our scripture will be presented by Dorothy Green, our prayer by Mary Turner, then our introduction of our pastor will be done by Vivian Davis, and we will proceed as just spoken. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Is Dorothy on? Oh, okay. It, it's um, uh, it's Ephesians uh, this chapter in the eighteen to the twenty fourth. Correct. The prayer okay. first. Oh, okay. Prayer first. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, once again, we are gathered around this modern convenience to allow us to have service one more time. With all these ups and downs, we are still striving to serve you and to do your will. Sometimes things get a little complicated with it, but we move on. So I thank you, Father, for allowing this to be in place for us to continue to worship and for us to have a pastor that thinks enough for each of us to become involved to learn and to do. Give her what she needs, Father, on this journey that she's on as well, and keep her safe and harm as she puts your words and practice into effect in the way that she lives her life. I thank you, Father, for this day. I thank you for all things. Sometimes we get bothered down in this world with all the troubles and all the confusion and all the hatred and all the jealousy and envy, but I thank you, Father, just for allowing us to be here one more time. I thank you for an opportunity to serve you, to say my prayers and be grateful and thankful that you allow each of us to get together. So God is Father, and just be with each of us. Help us to learn to lean and depend on you, because that's where our help comes from. Help me to be a source of understanding in your word, and help me to go in a positive and strong direction and to be bold. That's my prayer, Father, to be able to be bold and to speak out when I need to speak. 
just keep instructing me and lead me and teach me your way. Not what I want to do, Father, but your way. Keep me humble, keep me focused, and keep me living and breathing and thinking in your direction. Keep my ears open, my eyes open, and let me just reach out and touch someone else's life, Father. I thank you. I thank you in Jesus' name for all that you have done for everyone that is on this line, because we have all had some blessings from time to time, and they all come from you. So I thank you, dear Lord Jesus. These are so many other blessings we ask, and thank you in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, Ephesians chapter 6, 18 to 24. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching there until with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery mm -hmm. of the God, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that you also may know my affairs and how I do. Because a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that you may know our affairs and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. 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 It is now time for me to introduce the preacher of the evening. Good evening to one and all. Can everyone hear me? Yes. 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 Thank you. Protocol has been established, but I still would like to acknowledge the first family of the Monroe District, Dr. Earl and Sister Marilyn Griffin, and to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. As I thought about our speaker, and Lottie said, Vivian, you have to introduce Reverend Manuel. I just thought of all all sorts of things that I could say, but I Amen. finally decided I would like to paraphrase the early church that is described in Acts 2, 42 through 47. I think this description of the early church is a parallel of our speaker. She is a learning pastor who has created a learning church. We persist in listening as she teaches. She is a fellowshipping pastor with a great quality of togetherness. Yes, she has taught us to care for one another. She is a praying pastor who has instilled in us the power of prayer in our Amen. daily walk with God. Amen. She is a reverent pastor who has shown us what it means simply to respect God. Amen. She is a worshiping, playing, singing, preaching pastor who has taught us about the good news of Jesus Christ. Finally, she is a happy pastor who has <laughs> taught us to rejoice in the goodness of God. Uh, so since coming to both Shady Grove and Martin Temple Christian Methodist Episcopal Churches, through her learning, praying, her reverence, her worshiping, her singing, her preaching, her happiness, she has endeared herself to us. And we feel especially blessed by God in knowing her, in having her, among us, her tact of leadership beyond reproach, and her interest in our welfare Amen. make Amen. our love for her increase daily. Our speaker, 
the pastor, the shepherd of Shady Grove and Martin Temple Christian Methodist Episcopal Churches, Reverend Jesse Manuel. Amen. 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 Anointing fall on me. Good evening. Amen. Amen. Good evening. I thank Sister Vivian for that <laughs> introduction. I had to see who she's talking about. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank you all Amen. for being here tonight. But in the name of the Lord, we're going to get through this all right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Ephesians Amen. chapter 6, 18 to 24 have been read for us. Tonight, our subject is power packed prayer. A power packed prayer. Three P's. Hallelujah. Satan, the enemy of God, is also the enemy of the people of God. He is desiring for us to defeat us, to destroy us, and devour us. Be sober and be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. First Peter 5 and 8. Help me, Holy Ghost. James 1 and 14 remind us that every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust and enticed. Another witness, the word drawn away means to take in from the world of hunting and fishing. And, and whether the hunter or the fisherman use very means of lure that prey from place of safety. So the word entice means to catch by a bait. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Satan is like the master hunter, a, a, a master fisherman. He set traps and, and he, he baits his hook and he lies in wait to capture 
and destroy the unexpected Christian. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. If we were not sober or diligent, as the Bible tells us, we will be assaulted or worse, we will be captured by the trick, the trap of Satan. Oh. Well, we do not have to become victims of Satan traps and devices. God has equipped us with everything we need to stand against the device of attack of him. If we use the means God has given us, we will not be in the casualty of spiritual war in which we are engaged. Some of us are broken down. Some of us are, are tired. Some of us are all mangled up. Some are just walking. And some just can hold their hands. Up. Some can even just start wisdom. But in this, in this war, in this spiritual war, God gave us everything that we need. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Can you, don't you have me? Down and our hands up, and we pray with our eyes 
open our eyes cold. The Bible talks about many forms of prayer, places of prayer, forms of prayer. It may have circumstances of prayer, but, but, but not the Bible to exalt any form. It don't have any, any kind of issue. It don't have any kind of directions. You got to do all this before you can pray. It's not a sign as long as you speak out your word, as long as you say it in silence. Whatever you do, however you pray, no as yeah. your God, no as your personal relationship you got, but you got to have a personal relationship with the man of above and offer him so oh, yeah. oh, that's my oh. daughter calling. Oh, that's my son. And sometimes he get a nine one ASAP caller and he got he gotta come right in. If he can't come, he's gonna send the best agent he can. Hallelujah. To All take right. care of no business. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Woo hallelujah. Amen. Paul tells us to pray always. Yeah. It doesn't mean like we walk around with an attitude, a form of prayer. Neither Jesus, not, not, not his disciples, did. They had to, to pray always doesn't mean that we follow ritual prayers and, and recite it manually from a book. And, and to pray always that I mean that we pray with grandfather and uncle pray, hallelujah, I'm long prayer. We know there's no pray. Those are not our prayer when you can find somebody else for amen. You have to pray your own prayer, hallelujah. But pray always that I mean that you count these uh, repeat memorial prayers and pray phrases. I want the pagans do in Matthew 6 and 7. To pray always does not mean that we live a constant awareness of God and his presence. I'm talking too loud, it seems like. To pray always, I mean, that the soul is ever reaching up toward God. And to pray always, I mean, that we, we, we see everything and experience a kind of prayer to God. But when we, we, when we see something beautiful, we give God thanks. And this morning, when you woke up this morning, I hope you did. When you looked at your woman and you saw the sun shine this morning, I know you said, thank you, Jesus, for one more day. Hallelujah. And I hope oh, yeah. you, hey, Lord, Man. you had a rough time. And it seemed like you had your house, but have when you said, Lord, have mercy, amen. And I know yeah. amen, hallelujah. I have to preach a prayer. I know somebody is praying for me. Somebody got me on their mind because somebody's praying for me right now. Damn, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Woo! Yes, hallelujah. Not only the concept of prayer, but there is a content of prayer. Well, the content is the text of us, some of the things that should fill our prayers. The, the, Paul divides two our lives into two parts. He mentioned prayers, referring to the prayers as a general scope. And, and Paul called this kind of prayer all praying, and let me all kinds of prayer goals in one little point. And, and it's another kind of prayer that we do, something non specific. And for instance, there are times when we, we pray for, for faithful preachers and missionaries, we pray for our persecuted brethren around the world. We pray for our fellow church members. We pray for many other things in the same way, hallelujah. But we don't necessarily on, call out all their names and all the places and all their needs and all, but we pray for Praise those pray people in that situation. But all we know for this 21 days, we're praying a non-specific prayer, a specific prayer. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, Man. for someone else. Yeah. I don't really know what you need. I, I sometimes don't know when to, when to, when to what the church needs, but I don't know what the church down the road needs, but I don't know what the pastor across the town is going through, but I do know who knows. I, so I go, go with him all yeah. the, the things I all don't know, but I look to him yeah. to take care of those things that he sees first. Hmm. The fact we care to pray for people we never met for the, for the needs that we never touched uh, says something about the condition of our hearts he said that we are all burdened for things God cares about. He honors that. He uh, he mentions supplications and he's an all saints. Remember, everybody, even those, if, if you have sickness, I can pray that specific prayer. If you have lost people in your family, I can pray that specific prayer. If I, if you have found out you need, I can pray that prayer with you. If you have a burden, I can pray that prayer with you. But when the need is known, the prayer should be specific. So That's be right. careful Come on, Rabbit. what you yeah. pray for. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, Lord. Amen. Come on, yeah. Rabbit. So, be careful what you pray for, because you might just get it. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. You might just get it. You might not have wanted that to check when you got it, but you <laughs> might get it. Praise the Lord. Be careful what you pray for. Not only the concept of prayer, not Amen. only the content of prayer, but the context of a prayer. Well, Paul yeah. said that all our prayers should be done in the spirit. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. When we speak of living in the spirit or walking in the spirit, we are referring to live that is controlled by the spirit. Hallelujah. So, how, so hallelujah, when you pray, just don't, just don't say words. Pray in the spirit. I want you saying, don't come back to hate you. I don't hunt you. Amen. Yeah. You can yeah. tell what you're saying, so be careful what you say. Hallelujah. Power. 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 Life and death. Power. Comes from the tongue. Hallelujah. Power in the word of God. Power comes out of your mouth. So when you pray, you pray for what you need to pray for. The power is an anointing. The power is in the, the spirit. The power is what you is you what you're asking God for. Hallelujah. Life and death are in the, in the uh, hallelujah in the power of tongue. Thank you, Sister Tamika. Amen. But God is an awesome God. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, Show thee great and mighty things which I know it not. As I come to conclusion, prayer is a valuable resource. When you can't get where your children at, <laughs> when you can't get where your friends at, when you can't get where you need to go, you just send a word. Hey, send a word and it travels all over the mountain, all over the hills, all through the valley. The prayer will work. Prayer still work. There is power. In prayer, there is power. In the word, there is power. I got a track record. I'm not, you might not know I'm going to believe what I'm saying. But if you pray in the spirit, you pray that you believe what you're saying. Pray, hallelujah, in innocent. Pray, hallelujah, that God will go to you and be where you need him to be. You might have gas to get there, but Lord, go there, Lord. Hallelujah. You might have to get right there, Lord, I need you to go here. Hallelujah. That's power. Yes, Lord. Come on, Rev. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Vivian. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It means that, hallelujah, that I'm about through. When we pray in Jesus' name, means that we ask the things He would ask, He would ask for. When means we Amen. pray for things that we glorify the Father. It means that we pray according to the will of God and the nature of God. We, 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 we read what the Lord said about himself in the word of God, and we pray about the things he said we, he wants. In other words, we allow his words to shape our prayers. He gave us the Lord's prayer to shape our prayers. It means that we pray in cooperation with the spirit of God within our heart. Hallelujah. The spirit of God guides our prayers to promote us to pray about those things that bring glory to the Father. All true, true prayer, as I have said in the past, begins with God. Amen. You've done enough for me to get glorified because I'm praying for somebody. I don't want the glorification. Praise God, God gets the glory. God Praise gets God. the glory. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise but since God. one of the chief problems faced by armies has been battled in the battlefield communication, soldiers in the battle must be asked to speak to their leaders. The leader must be able to communicate strategies to their armies. For many years, this was an almost insurmountable problem. Most armies depend on runners to carry messages back and forth. <laughs> With the advent of the telegraph and the telegram, the problem was alleviated to some degree. But none more than time, army can communicate using satellite relays. At times, soldiers in the field can make contact with, with, with their superiors, regardless of where they were located and where nearly instant contact is not possible. Orders can be relayed. Battlefield updates can be passed up on the line. Replacement and provision can be requested. Decision and change can be made that have immediate impact on the outside of the outcome of the battle. Christian Amen. soldiers have possessed the capacity for thousands of years. Anytime we can call on the name of the Lord, we can request his help. Shall burdens with him and dress in a situation that arise. This, this should give us some great confidence as we serve the Lord in this world. I commit ourselves to him and seek his help to be the prayer warriors we have to be. Let us labor to make most of the prayers all the time, all the time, and all things that we may be glorified in the world and through his church. Hallelujah. Paul calls the love to his Thank you, Lord. Prayer for grace, love, and peace for all saints of God. I close this Lord. message tonight. All glory, all grace, all love, and peace for all who listen to me. I praise the Lord for what I've learned as I study yeah. and preach my way through these great books. Amen. But like Paul prayed in verse 22, God has truly comforted my heart Amen. by teaching about who I am and what I possess 
in yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Grace be with you. Thank you, Jesus. That love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Let's be, hey, word of God, for the people of God. Amen. 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 What a word. What a word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I give invitation today. I invite you tonight. Continue to pray. Amen. Prayer is a weapon that we we have, and you see that the Lord has already up in Washington. The Lord already answered some of y'all prayers. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord, you we didn't go to where the Lord was on the battlefield. It we wasn't none of us there. Amen. I believe somebody was on the on the side. Praying and making intercessory prayer for us. Amen. For the yeah. United States of America. Somebody pray for the Lord. president. Amen. 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 Somebody pray for that situation. Yeah. Yes. So God can pray. If you pray, hallelujah. I just invite you today. If I know you know hallelujah. Let's come to the Lord and, and continue to pray and continue to read his word. And then hallelujah, he will come into your life better. And I know some of us we've been in church a long time, and some of us ain't felt the power in a lot of in a long time. Some of us yeah. ain't felt the presence of the Lord in a long time. Some of us say you don't even know who Jesus is, we just know of him, amen. But I I, 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 I ask you tonight. Yes. And praying, something don't come out of praying. You gotta fast and pray. Yes, yeah, you do. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. The Lord will make a way somehow. Yes, He will. Yes, He will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 And Reverend Manuel, we thank God the way He has used you tonight. Oh yes. Oh hallelujah. Praise prayer. Oh yeah. Power. Hallelujah. Act pray. Oh, talk about it. you! What you say? Got to look at the content of it. My oh, God, concept oh. of content of it. Then the contact of prayer. We just we got to talk to the master. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Reverend Manuel. Yes. Are there any other? Uh, there may be other names that need to be added to the list. If you just put them in the chat box, we'll add Linda uh, Spence along with her husband Fred Spence tonight. Uh, are there any other names? Before we I go have, to the praise, I have uh, three names. I have four names here. I'm trying to All right, well, pass to put, back in your hands. Uh, I'm trying to find it. So Linda Spence. Yes, ma'am. And her husband. All right, but my husband name on the list already. Okay. We have, um, last night we had and Andrea, Andre Jones Jr. and Reuben Williams and Sister Maxine Williams. And Sister Whitney Walker. So today we have uh, went to the doctor's office today, and uh, the doctor and our uh, great friend. So uh, Dr. Clifford Salmon, he goes. He delivered all my children. He goes on the list, and his Amen. wife and his wife Marcus uh, Salmon. She has. Uh, I, she's an ICU on her last. Uh, she has COVID, and we have her on our list also. Mm -hmm. He's only up. Lord, it's just. You lead us he's in gonna, prayer. prayer. That's all I have for the prayer. It's on, on my own. I mean, if I just have any name. If not, we ready for the prayer? Yes, ma'am. Let us pray. Lord, just we thank you that you love each and every one who needs healing on the Monroe District prayer list. Yes. Yes. Amen. I know you hate what their illness is doing to them, but I ask you to heal them yes. of their diseases. Yes. That you have compassion to bring healing from all sickness. 
Amen. Your word said in Psalm 107, 19 through 20, that when we call out to you, the eternal one who will give the order, heal and rescue us from certain death. In the Bible, I have read a miraculous healing. And I believe that you still heal the same way today. I believe that there is no illness that you cannot heal because when you got on the cross, off the cross, you said all power of heaven and earth is in your hand. I know that there's no illness that you cannot heal. After all, the Bible tells us, are you raising people from the dead? So I ask you for healing in this situation. Yeah. I also know from like, my experience of life on earth that not everyone is healed, but if that happens here, then keep, keep my heart, hallelujah, keep my heart and mind on you, Lord. I also know from yes. experience Amen. of life on earth that, yeah. that, that, Lord, that, that it happens and keep your and understand your plans and help us to be excited about heaven. But God, we thank you for the names, every name on this 106 names thank on the you. Monroe District Trialists who are in need of healing belongs to you and that you're in control of everything that happens from our first breath to the last sigh. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Reverend Manuel, for a powerful word. Uh, I mean, a word from the Lord. Elder, we're in your hand. Well, we pray again tonight for another word that we'll be able to meditate on as we're praying tonight and getting ready to fast uh, during our hours of fasting. Those of you uh, that are fasting from food and then others, I understand, are fasting from social media. So mm -hmm. however God has impressed upon you uh, to cut back on things that were taken over and to let things go that you need to let go and hadn't been able, Jesus says some things don't come out, but by prayer and fasting. So we thank you, Reverend Manuel, for that mm -hmm. word. And we yeah. just believe that we receive that word and God will use it for his glory in our lives. Thank you once again. And thank you, Monroe District, and our guests for being with us uh, and for uh, coming along and really, really uh, being a blessing. We've seen as much as 67, 68 people here tonight throughout this evening. And we just believe that God is going to keep on increasing because yeah. God is using this line for his own. He is, mm -hmm. he is sending out word. Yeah. And people are responding. And so I thank you and thank you, Reverend uh, Davis, for getting this together for us. And uh, Reverend Neil, for helping you with the scheduled calendar. Yeah, I got a revised copy today. I hope everyone else got theirs in their email. We do have some changes, but we're going to let you read the email. All I want to know, Reverend Davis, is who's coming tomorrow. Uh, Elder, we have coming tomorrow night, Reverend Pamela uh, Peoples, all the way from the Young Chapel Church. Oh, yeah. Pamela Peoples. Amen. Amen. Keep her in prayer as they're in North Carolina uh, because of illness in the family. And so we know that she's going to need what was that? A power packed prayer that's, in order to be with us tomorrow night. Uh, so God bless uh, Reverend Peoples as she is preparing to preach and as she is in support of her husband and his family during this attack by COVID-19. So, Amen. God bless you and God bless yeah. you. Amen. Reverend Manuel, we're ready for the benediction and your prayer. Elder, may, may I make an announcement? We did not send that out. I sent it to you and Reverend Manuel. We have not sent that out to everyone because there are only two messages. To everyone? Yes, ma'am. Amen, then. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And will you, Reverend Manuel, will you just announce our prayer from 1130 to 12? I'll be at a graveside service at 11, but we're still going on with prayer on Friday morning, 1130 right. to 12. Thank you. I see Ellen uh, Castile on here. I see her. I see uh, uh, Reverend Carol Jackson, uh, Sister Burchill Price. Uh, see my cousin, er Early Manuel. We hadn't been seeing each other in 50 years, so now we we get back together. So yeah. I just I just thank the Lord for who all <laughs> on here tonight. I just thank the Lord, y'all just Man. made my Man. night. And I thank you for your support. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, ma'am. And I Amen. thank uh, 
And I thank, thank um, Shay the Grove and Martin Temple for today. tonight. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God would pass all understanding, keep your heart and mind and knowledge and love of God. And the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God, Father Almighty, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, be among you and remain with you always. And the church say, Amen. Amen. Be blessed Amen. tonight. Amen. 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 Amen.